about the state of orchids in goa today you are mr orchid here <laughs> no not really but yes uh, actually goa is a good place to grow orchid yeah. uh, the climate is suitable but as of now current stage see uh, it's uh, orchid growing started you know, the government started promoting orchid some about uh, about 6 7 years back there were a lot of farms in kankon south goa and you know we were the pioneers we started some about 10 years back the climate is sustainable it is suitable but uh, there are a few you know bottlenecks which uh, generally like, an orchid grower a commercial orchid grower face like marketing there was a lot of problem with marketing so many in fact almost all the um, uh, orchid growers have shut down today is because of the prices and uh, prices from outside orchids are more uh, yes, cutthroat or? yes yes uh, what has happened is uh, the, the the import from thailand was very huge and because you know there were pockets of growers so the seller was uh, the seller was always at a disadvantage the buyer was at an advantage because you know it's just coming from one pocket he says hey i have got 10 other people but now the scenario has changed post covid because thailand like anywhere in the world many of the farms closed india also many of the farms closed now what we used to sell like we used to sell like around 15 rupees a stem okay okay stock or a spike okay we used to sell today the the buyer is calling i'm giving paying you 30 rupees please sell because even thailand imports have been so government has regular as you know created certain kind of a ban so it's a good thing to grow right now how But, did you get into the field uh it's a very long story actually it's just hap- i happened to visit some farm and then i started to have a liking and coincidentally that time i just met a friend of mine who was into flower trading business he encouraged me and then you know i just went with my wife uh, to thailand walpo you are in walpo no? yes we are in walpo so and how do people contact you uh well you're on the net or some facebook i am there or? on the net but it's basically more of word of mouth because okay. now we are we are not into much of cut flowers we are now into landscaping indoor outdoor as well as orchids anthurium and a lot of other flowers we've got you know, thousands of varieties which we grow on our own we just don't import what's the enterprise called uh, right now we are working with a firm uh, our firm's name is bit of green bit of green yeah it's bit of green it can be found on the uh, social media it can media. be found on the not really maybe on the google map yes okay but uh, you know we are more of uh, we are known for our quality so any project which comes up and sees our plant they contact us we have not marketed anywhere and i have only come for this session only because of a close friend of yogendra and ma'am so i thought that you know we'll share information on orchid because there are a lot of orchid lovers to get started how does one get started in orchids because it's such a complex field see you need to first understand that you need to have a good water source in goa goa is a, a very good place you can just start a orchid business anywhere the climate is suitable but you need a good source of water that is most important thing once you have identified that you need a bit of technical knowledge right and a good source of planting material see it's most important because an uh, a one acre orchid project today will cost you about 70 75 lakh of rupees right but 70% of that goes in the infrastructure okay cost and around 25 30% goes in the planting material but people don't understand that the revenue is been given by the 30% so you need to ensure that whatever you are spending on the 30% is very very important get the right kind of planting material then you can grow and then of course you require technical backup and they, like i told in my session they very hard to create there is no rocket science it's no high fi stuff it's very simple yeah, yeah thank